Hi everyone, it's Melinda. I'm back to show you guys a makeup haul. I've collaborated with Strawberry Net, so I was able to choose what products I wanted and this is what I've got in front of me. Let's get started. I'm just going to pick out these products by random and talk about them. I've tried them before, I've got a makeup tutorial on it as well and it's the makeup look that I've got on now. First thing is a Rodeo um, Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Tonic. This is just like MAC Fix Plus and it's 100ml and it feels amazing on the skin, it smells amazing, it's got rose water in there and the hyaluronic acid in there helps for anti-aging I guess. And what I do is just spray it on my skin before my moisturizer and I spray it on right after my um, makeup just to set everything in place. The next thing I have here is the NARS bronzing powder. This is in the color Casino. I do have the NARS Laguna bronzer and the NARS orgasm blush but um, the Laguna one is a bit too light, so I want it something a bit darker. Um, NARS has beautiful packaging, can I just say? It's just so beautiful and you get so much product with their um, bronzers and blushes. This is huge. So the colour looks like that and it's not dark at all on my skin. It's really great for me when I contour my nose because it doesn't look harsh at all. And I've got it on right now, it's just such a beautiful bronzer. There are like small glitter particles in it, but when you put it on your skin, you don't see it at all. I've also got the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation here. I've got it on my skin as well. I've tried it for a couple of days now and I want to see how long it lasts on my skin. And I feel like it's not very long wearing like my double wear foundation. After 8 hours of wear, I'm so oily in my T-zone that I have to block constantly. So it's not very long wearing at all for me. Um, but it does look really beautiful and it minimizes the look of your pores. So it comes in a really beautiful glass, like frosted glass packaging with a suede lid and it's got a pump so it makes things a little bit more easier because it is quite runny, it's a very runny foundation so you need to be quite careful with this. Um, it dries up really fast so you've got to work with this quickly. I use my beauty blender so yeah. By the way I'm in the colour medium 4 Barcelona if you're wondering and in the double wear foundation I'm in the colour cashew. The next thing I have in front of me is the Guerlain Maxi Lash. I can't pronounce it for the life of me. Guerlain, Guerlain. I actually used to work for this brand so it was so embarrassing when my customers would correct me all the time. Good job! So this is the volume creating lash mascara lash thingy. Um, it's in the number 4 marine. I've actually got it on right now and it's such a beautiful luxurious packaging and I chose this colour because sometimes black is a bit too harsh and marine is just a beautiful go-to colour if you want like your know, lashes to look naturally long and thick. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Lip Liner in the colour Nude and it's so beautiful. I used to work for the brand Lancome as well and I'd sneak over to the other counter, the Estee Lauder counter and use their lip liners because I loved it so much and I've got it underneath my lipstick right now and it's a beautiful lip liner. It comes with a brush at the end which I never use anyway and just as the foundation suggests, double wear long lasting foundation. This is quite long lasting as well. It's very hard to remove but it's a very beautiful colour. I've just swatched it here on my hand so you guys can see the colour. It's very very gorgeous, very naturally looking nude. The next thing I have in front of me is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. It comes in such a beautiful beautiful packaging. I love that they include the colours at the front. So everybody and their moms and their grandmas and their cousins and their aunties has this palette except for me. So I want to get it and see what the fuss was all about. And I really like how it's just so small and compact and it's not heavy. It comes with a really beautiful high grade mirror. The colours are all so beautiful except this one. I don't like this one, it's too powdery. I wish it was like a shimmer. I will say, however, the other colours are just so beautiful, so buttery and easy to work with. The next thing I chose was the character masks from the face shop. I really, really love these sheet masks and these in particular have the sheet pattern on it. So I actually put it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then I just take it off and dry my skin, put moisturiser on it. It really refreshes the skin. The next day when I put my makeup on, it just looks a lot more smoother. And I got the 10 packs, so they're like $3.90 each. But the 10 pack is a lot cheaper, so I got that. Next thing I have here is the Guerlain Meteorites Base. This is a primer, so you put this on right before your foundation, and it's such a beautiful product. It comes in the most luxurious bottle ever, I have to show you guys. Look at that, isn't that just beautiful? It's just 
you know, so high class looking. Look at the lid. So this goes on just like a moisturizer for me. It makes my skin feel um, really nice and smooth and not tacky. Um, however, it doesn't really do much for my foundation. So I like to put it on anyway because it just feels nice on my skin. Next thing I have here is the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. It's in the color black. I've wanted to try this for a long time because when Lauren Curtis started YouTube, um, she used to rave about this all the time and I was like, what's so good about this? It's probably the same as Maybelline gel liner, but it's not. It's a lot more dark, but it's very smooth and buttery and I do really like it. So I'm glad I got this and I got it on my eyes today as well. It's just so easy to work with. So yeah, it doesn't smudge as well, which is a good thing about this. Next thing I have here is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I finally jumped on the freaking bandwagon and got this. This is in the color creamy, no, custard, sorry. It's in the color custard, medium one. And it's slightly lighter than my skin tone, but I really like it to be like that because it makes my under eyes look brighter. And it does dry out really fast, so I feel like I have to blend it really quickly with my beauty blender. But apart from that, it's pretty good, and it hasn't creased so far under my eyes, so that's a plus for me. Moving on to other stuff, I'm almost at the end. I've got my Becca pressed powder, I believe. Um, I threw the box away, so I don't remember, but it comes in this beautiful packaging. How pretty is this? It comes in this packaging, and um, it's got its own, like... Puff, powder puff. I don't use this, I just throw this away, but I thought I might as well show you guys. Um, I feel like the coverage is too full if you use a puff, but I'm in the color Cardamom. It's Fine Pressed Powder by Becca, and it's just the right shade for me. I was scared that it might be a bit too dark, but when I tried it on, it was just perfect. So yeah, that's the color there, and I'm usually in NC40, NC42 right now. Got some eyelashes from Store Brunette as well. I love to wear false lashes. I've already used a pair, so. The thing I have here is the Beauty Blender. I've got the black one, I've got the pink one, and now I've got the purple one. Um, there's no explanation as to why I bought this. Everyone knows I love using Beauty Blenders. I don't use foundation brushes anymore. I love Beauty Blenders so much because it makes my foundation look amazing and smooth and flawless. The next thing I have here is the Rodeo Glam Tox Day Firm and Brighten Day Cream. So it's a moisturizer with an SPF of 15 and it feels amazing on the skin and it's not very heavy or thick at all. The last two products are just eyeshadows. One of them in particular I love and I found from the Naked One palette so I had to have it and this is the Buck eyeshadow. It comes in such a beautiful packaging. How amazing is that? I use this for my transition shade and sometimes I contour my nose with it. It's just such a beautiful colour to work with. And I hope I never run out because I'll be so sad. The very last thing I have here is the Becca shadow. Um, it's in the colour Venice. It's an eyeshadow. And it's just like the cutest thing ever, you guys. That's what it looks like. And this is a champagne pop. It's like a baby champagne pop. This came in for free with all the products. I'm never going to use it because it's not my cup of tea. It's like a pink shimmery sort of eyeshadow, I guess. So I'm just going to give it away to someone in my family. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I'm going to end it to now because I feel like the video has gone on for way too long now. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!